اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to talk about how to calculate sample size for structural equation models using Daniel Super Sample Size Calculator. Now it's a very easy calculator to use and what you can do is just type in Daniel Super Sample Size Calculator in Google and the link will be shared in the description as well. Now once you click it, you will have this particular sample size calculator here. Now a priori sample size calculator for structural equation models. This means that this calculator will compute the sample size required for a study that uses structural equation model that is SCM given the number of observed and latent variables in the model, the anticipated effect size and the desired probability and statistical power levels. The calculator will return both the minimum sample size required to detect the specified effect and the minimum sample size required given the structural complexity of the model. Now this is a priori sample size calculator that is done or if you want to calculate your sample size before conducting your actual analysis. Now in order to use this sample calculator we need anticipated effect size. Now this is your absolute anticipated effect size for the structural equation models. Now there are different effect sizes, small, medium and large. So 0.1 is a small, 0.3 is medium and 0.5 is large. Normally Cohen's recommendations are used. Now if you are not sure about your effect size, you can use medium effect size. However, if existing research has given different effect sizes, you can look into existing literature and assess or find out what effect sizes are normally reported in existing research. For now, I'm just going to use the medium effect size. Now, what is this desired statistical power level? By convention, this value should be greater than 0 0.80. And the higher it is, the lesser is the chance that you will get incorrect results. Statistical power here would mean that how close are you to finding an effect when there should be an effect. So you need a higher power level. Normally, the statistical power recommended is 0 0.80. So we are going to keep it to this. So what are the number of latent variables? So what do we mean by latent variables? Let's have a quick look here. Let's say I've got this model here and I want to calculate the sample size for this particular model here. So how many latent variables do I have? Now in this case, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight latent variables, unobserved variables. And how are they observed? They are observed based on the indicators you have. These are your indicators. So let's say if I calculate it, so 7, 5, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 and 5, 27, 27 and 6, 33, 33 and 6, 39, 39 and 5, 44. So 44 indicators, observed variables. Now these observed variables help measure the latent variables. So 44 probability level well actually as also known as p value alpha level or type 1 error rate by convention this value should be less than 0 0.05 in order for you to accept your hypothesis and this is what we do in social sciences research nothing else is required just press calculate now here are your results the minimum sample size to detect an effect is 177 now minimum sample size for model structure is 138. Recommended minimum sample size is 177. Now with a model or such a model with so many latent variables and indicators, the minimum sample size that you require for your study is 177. So finally, you should get a sample size over 177 in order for you to detect an effect. If you're just building a model, 138 is good enough. However, 
as I normally recommend, the higher the sample size, the better it is for your study and to have more conclusive evidence. Thank you very much.